All right, good evening. Welcome back. Some of us had a very active weather afternoon. Some hailers over in Walker, Fayette counties, some down in Chilton County as well. It's also a bit loud over in Arkansas. We're going to keep an eye on this MCS, this line of thunderstorms as it descends into Mississippi. Same with this stuff in, in western Tennessee. This could get to us overnight tonight or in the early morning hours on Monday. We have plenty to focus on right now as it is, though. A lot of the heavier storms and severe storms now moving over into Mississippi. We are still seeing some lingering showers in Tuscaloosa County, and the heaviest rain is down to the south there in Chilton County. That's where we'll take us right now uh, near the Thorsby area, south into Clanton along I-65 and 31. As you head down Highway 82 as well, another pocket of very heavy rain. No hail, I don't think, with any of these. Most of these have already bottomed out near Maplesville. But certainly some heavy rain and lots of lightning with these two. It, it certainly seems like summertime. Forkland, you're uh, kind of on either side of two storms. You got this one right here just to the east and then to the west. Uh, another little uh, really condensed uh, thunderstorm there, but also had a hail core not too long ago. Temperatures have been kind of all over the place. If you didn't get the rain, well, Gadsden, you're still sitting at 87 compared to 78 here in Birmingham, where we have some rain cooled air. 70, though, over in Fayette. We're likely going to be at that temperature for the next 12 plus hours overnight tonight. Speaking of, the next several hours will feature something pretty cool, a full moon lunar eclipse. And I'm really hopeful that these thunderstorms and the parent cloud cover that comes with it does get to clear out later on this evening because you can see here the timing, partial eclipse beginning around 930 our time and then the actual full eclipse going from around 1030 up until just around midnight should be really cool to see. It'll have an oil red hue. I'd love to see your pictures, by the way. Send those in. Uh, this will be happening uh, really right about the time that we come to you later on tonight. So our viewing forecast, unfortunately, there is going to be some cloud cover out there, but I think even a broken sky, we should be able to enjoy this. And uh, I'm hopeful that we'll have some periods later on this evening where those skies clear just enough for us to see that lunar eclipse. All right, so we'll take you through the rest of this evening. Again, showers, thunderstorms winding down. Not worried about that during the eclipse. It's more or less going to be the leftover cloud cover. Overnight tonight, those temperatures falling back down into the mid 60s. There's that rain. I just showed you that over in Tennessee and Arkansas. The remnants of that line will be coming through tomorrow morning. So look for that uh, potentially hindering some of uh, your out the door forecast. Maybe the bit of a wet commute in some areas should be uh, anything to be too concerned with. And our temperature should rebound back into the 80s with probably more clouds and sunshine tomorrow. Moving into Tuesday, we have a weak cold front coming through and it's not really a cold front per se. It's more or less drier air coming in Tuesday morning. 50s for a lot of us as our dew points drop. And then as we head into Tuesday afternoon, mostly sunny skies. And boy, that's the story right there. Tuesday onward. Take a look at this forecast. Now, I looked at our record highs. We shouldn't be near a record high at all, but we're certainly going to be 10 to 12 degrees above average with mid 90s through the end of the week. Our next solid rain chance after Monday looks to be next weekend. We'll keep you posted. Stick around. I got a view photo of the day, and we'll be saying goodbye to you here in just a minute.